This is a Dell 17 inch monitor. That does not power on. Green light comes on and the self check comes on for a split second and then turns off. Same way if I were to connect it to the computer. It would display the image for just a second or two and then it will turn right back off. But as you can see, it's not in standby and it has power. Off, on, self check, then off. Still got a green light though. So what I'm thinking, it's got a bad capacitor on the power side, so we'll tear into this thing and see what we can find. Alright, there's four bolts. What holds this on? So... And we got some clips. I don't know if you can see that. Right here and right there. Just take a small flathead screwdriver and pry them up. And then you just go all the way around the screen and pry it up. Alright, got it all unsnapped. Was not very easy though. got to be real careful when you stick your screwdriver in here that when it pops open you hurry up and push back on the screwdriver or else you'll uh, nick the screen luckily I didn't but uh, just be aware Now to get to the power section, under here, looks like we got a screw here, a screw there, here and there, and somehow, oh, probably got to take these off first maybe. Alright, I'll figure it out. Alright, I got them two side screws out. Seems like it's going to pop right out of there, so... Looks like that was the wrong thing I took off. Looks like all I need to do was take this off somehow. Well, this still would need to come off, it would seem like. Well, give me a few minutes. Alright, figured it out. These things slide off. You just smack it with a screwdriver or something this way. And then you got 
your, uh, I think it's your LCD lights, backlights. So, it looks like they just pull out of there. Yep. Um, and just remember the pink goes up towards the top. Yeah, goes up towards the top, and this one does too. Right. And for this, same deal. Then you got all the wires going into the LCD. Okay. And you got little levers on them. Right here's a lever. And push both of them in at the same time. And there it goes. Be very careful and gentle with this though, because uh, you can break the leads right off. Now this thing should come right up. Haha. -ha. And there's the power board. Right here. Now I gotta take them screws out. Flip it over and see if we got some bad caps. Alright, I didn't find any bad capacitors. None of them. I even checked the video board, and all those capacitors were good. So, I checked all the solder joints on the back. And on the high side, this little guy right here. Right here, well, you can't see it, but try to take a picture of it. Right there where my fingernails at. But I'm not going to be able to see it though. But uh, it's definitely cracked all the way around. Checked it with my voltmeter by putting one lead on the side of the solder joint and one lead on the point, and I'd get it sometimes. So, it's definitely, that's definitely the problem. It's got to be. Because the monitor before would work sometimes, but not all the time. And just recently, I, I couldn't get it to work ever. So, I'll get this bad boy soldered up. And put it back together. See what happens. Alright, got it all put back together. There's a self-test feature. And it's staying on now. Now, I did have it connected to my computer downstairs. And uh, it was displaying a picture and everything works now. It was just because of that uh, bad solder joint. And I looked around and didn't see no other ones, so that was the only one on that little coil. So. Now you know how to fix them.